Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So you can add some 3D text to your videos and you can also add a camera fly through transition, something like this. All this only using After Effects. So let's begin. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I've already imported a couple of video footages. So I'm going to use these two drone shots and we are going to transition from this clip to this using our 3D text. And it's completely up to you. You can use whatever video footages you want. Just import them in After Effects and after that you are ready to go. So we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Fifth and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want and also make sure to change the 3d renderer and we are going to switch this from classic 3d to cinema 4d in order to add our 3d text and after that just click on ok so now we have our composition let's drag our video footage and you can see that it's already 1920 by 1080 in case your video footage is larger or smaller just make sure to scale this down so that it fits the composition and after that pre-compose it otherwise the 3d tracking won't work so once you have imported your video footage, let me just quickly select the area in which I want my transition. So I'm going to just trim the starting and let's move it over here. And we don't want the full footage. So I'm going to just drag it over here and let's drag the end point. So I only want this region. And once you are done with this, you can right click pre-compose and just click on move all attribute to the new composition. Let's call this video one and just click on ok now we are ready to add the 3d camera tracker so just go to effects and search for 3d camera tracker and let's drag it onto this video footage and it will start analyzing it and once it is done it will show you all the tracking points so our tracking is done and you can see that after effects has created a lot of different points and if i play back you can see that these points will stick to our scene something like this so we can create our 3d camera using these points so I'm going to add my text somewhere on this edge and I'm going to pick a couple of points from here. So if I move my cursor, you can see that After Effects will give me a couple of points using which I can create my camera. So I'm going to find a plane which is aligned with our scene. So let me just quickly pick a couple of points. So this point looks good. So once you are happy with your orientation, just right click and I'm going to create a solid with camera just like that. Now, if I play back, you can see that our solid will be tracked along with the surface, which is exactly what we want. So once you're done with this, we are ready to add our text. So for that, I'm going to select the text tool and I'm going to just click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type America and I'm using this Montserrat black font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. So once you're done with this, let me just quickly change its color to white. And I'm going to just select this, press S to scale this up, something like this. And also make its anchor point in the center. So in order to do that, just select the text layer, hold down the control key and just double click on this pan anchor tool. So now you can see that our anchor point is in the center. So once you're done with this, we are going to set this to 3D. So just enable the 3D from here. And after that, make sure to hold down the shift key and you can select this parent option. And I'm going to parent this to the solid which we just created so that it will align itself along with this solid plane. Just make sure to hold on the shift key. So once you're done with this, let's align it with our scene. So I'm going to select this, press S to scale this up quite a bit. And now we can select this, press R for rotation and let's rotate it and align it along with the edge. So I'm going to rotate it along the X axis and let's move it in the Y space and now we don't need our solid so I'm going to select this and let's hide this one and we can select this just play around with a couple of these settings let's press S to scale this up so now if I play back here you can see that our text has been tracked with our scene and you can see that it is moving just like that so now our next step is to add some 3d depth to this so in order to do that just select your text layer and if I go inside the geometry option, you can see that we have the extrusion depth. So just increase this. And now you can see that we have added some 3D depth to your text. And right now it's not much visible because we don't have any lights in our scene. So let me just quickly add a light. 
So let's go to layer new and I'm going to add a light and let's make this point light and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. So right away you can see that we have added a light in our scene and you can play around with its position. You can place it wherever you want. And I think yeah, this is looking fine. So if I play back here, you can see we have our 3D text and let me just quickly align it with our camera. So now I'm going to select the text and let's press S and let's make this bigger little bit. Now I'm going to align it to the scene just like this. So now if I play back, here you can see that our camera is moving and you can also see that our camera is passing through this hole inside the R, which is exactly what we want. In case yours is not passing, then you can just play around with its position and scale however you want. Let me just quickly scale this up a little bit. And now I'm going to just align it with our scene, something like this. And if I play back, here you can see we have the animation just like that. So once you are done with this, we are ready to add our second clip. So I'm going to select the video too and let's place it below our text. So now we can move this forward to get an area where we want the transition to occur. So I want the transition somewhere around here. So I'm going to select this and press Alt and left square bracket to trim this layer. And now let's just move it somewhere around here. Now let's move our indicator and let's pick a place where we want this to be visible. So somewhere around here. Now we can select this and let's select the pen tool and I'm going to create a mask in this region. So just randomly create four points, something like this. So now you can see that it is visible only inside this region. Now we can select this, press M for mask path and let's add a keyframe. Now you can move a couple of frames ahead and you can just make this mask accordingly and you can just adjust its scale and let's make this wide a little bit. Let's go to somewhere around here. Just animate the mask according to the reveal. Just make sure that the full clip is visible just like this. And at last you can just make this full screen. Just move the mask something like this. Move in between to just tweak the couple of positions. So now if I play back, you can see that our clip is visible through this region. Just like that. Now we can also add some fading transition. So let's select this, press T for opacity and let's add a keyframe and let's move this to somewhere around here. And in the beginning, I'm going to set this to zero. So now if I play back, you can see that our second clip will reveal slowly inside this region, just like that. So this is how you can create these kind of animations. And if you want to add some colors to your text, then you can just simply select this and you can pick whatever color you want. Or you can also add colors to your light. You can select the light and let's go under the options. And from here, you can pick whatever color you want and it will be applied to your text. Now we can also add some shadows to this. So in order to do that, let me just quickly select all of these layers and I'm going to right click. Let's pre-compose them and I'm going to call this transition. Just click on OK. Now, once you're done with this, we are going to change the render setting in the main composition. Otherwise, our shadow won't work. So in order to do that, just go to composition. Let's go under the composition setting and let's change this back to classic 3D. Just click on OK. So now we have changed the 3D render inside the main comp. But inside the transition comp, our render setting is still the Cinema 4D. So that's why this won't affect any of the settings. So now you can select the camera and the text from this. Just press Ctrl C and we can go back to the main comp. And over here, we can press Ctrl V to paste this up. Now we can select the text and I'm going to change its color to black. And after that, you can select this, press R to rotate this up and let's rotate it something like this. So just play around with the settings and now I'm going to just move it below where I want my shadow. 
So just play around with that setting. Let me just quickly increase its scale just like that. Once you're happy with this, just search for fast box blur and let's drag it onto this and just increase the blur radius to something like this. After that, you can select this, press T to lower down the opacity, just like that. So if I play back, here you can see that we have our text and 3D shadow. And once it reaches over here, it will transition into our new scene, just like this. So in this way, you can create these kind of animations and you can switch between different scenes using this transition. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any queries or questions, then you can ask in the comments below. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.